Welcome to Geography, Samachir Syllabus of Tamil Nadu. Class 9 Geography, Lesson 2, Exogenetic Processes, Part 3. Cast Topography. The term cast topography describes a distinctive topography that indicates the solution, also called chemical solution of underlying soluble rocks by surface water or groundwater. Although commonly associated with carbonate rocks like limestone and dolomite, other highly soluble rocks such as evaporites, gypsum, and rock salt can be sculpted into cast terrain. terrain. Understanding caves and cast is important because 10% of Earth's surface is occupied by this cursed landscape. As an agent of gradation, Underground water creates distinct landforms in limestone regions and that is called as cast topography. And groundwater is an active agent in limestone regions. Cast topography is formed due to the dissolution of soluble rocks such as limestone, dolomite and gypsum. And this is the structure of limestone cave. And stalacites, stalagmites and this is called as pillar or column. Let us see what is a stalacite first. These stalacites, they grow down from the cave ceiling, while stalagmites, they grow up from the cave floor. As the carbon dioxide is released, calcite is precipitated, that is redeposited on cave walls, ceilings and floors. As the redeposited minerals build up after countless water drops, a stalacite is formed. Limestone stalacites form extremely slow, usually less than 10 cm every thousand years. And radiometric dating has shown that some are over 19,000 years old. And how to keep in mind what is stalacite and stalagmite? And stalacite has C, that is for ceiling. So the one that drops down from the ceiling C is stalacite. The one that grows from the ground towards the ceiling, that is, it has G, stalagmite. So in that way, you can keep it in the mind. And what is pillar? When this stalacite and stalagmite, they meet with each other, this column or pillar is formed. So this is the structure of a limestone cave. Limestone topography of Western Slovenia extends for a distance of 480 kilometers in length and 80 kilometers in width, which is termed as cast in the Slavic language. So this is Slovenia, Western Slovenia. This is a massive structure of the Western Slovenia limestone topography. The world's largest cast area, Nullarbor, located on the great Australian coast, Cursed regions are also found in southern France, Spain, Mexico, Jamaica, Western Cuba, Central New Guinea, Sri Lanka, and Myanmar. Cursed landforms are generally the result of mildly acidic water acting on soluble bedrock. In India, cursed areas are found in Guptadam Caves in Western Bihar, Robert Cave and Tapkeshwar Temple in Uttarakhand. Pandav Caves, Pachamari Hills in Madhya Pradesh, Kutumsar in Bastar district in Chhattisgarh, and Bora Caves in Vishakhapatnam, Andhra Pradesh. Erosion landforms of underground water. Most of erosion takes place due to the process of solution. When the rain water mixes with carbon dioxide and enters into a limestone region, it dissolves and destroys much of the limestone. As a result, landforms such as Terra Rosa, Lapis, sinkholes, swallow holes, dolines, wallas, holes, caves, and cavens are formed. What is terra rosa? In Italy, the term terra rosa means red soil. So, deposition of red clay soil on the surface of the earth is due to the dissolution of limestone content in rocks. The redness of the soil is due to the presence and presence of iron oxide in the soil. Lapis. When the joints of limestone rocks are corrugated by groundwater, long furrows are formed and these are called lapis. See, here you can see. So the joints, they get eroded very fastly and this 
furrows or long furrows are formed in the joints and this structure is called as lapis sinkhole a funnel shaped depression is formed due to the dissolution of limestone limestone rock is called sinkholes their average depth ranges from 3 to 9 meters the world's deepest sinkhole is china's xianzhou tiangkang at 2172 feet and there are as many as 15000 sinkholes in illinois in united states of america caves and caverns or subterranean that is the beneath the surface of the earth subterranean features of karst topography caves are hollows that are formed by the dissolution of limestone rocks when carbon dioxide in air turns into carbonic acid after its reaction with water they vary in size and shape whereas caverns are the caves with irregular floors chavantines dripstones and tufa all these three together called as speleotherms and these all are formed or these are all the deposits found in the caves the types of deposits in the caves and caverns and collectively they are called as speleotherms so they are travertines dripstones and tufa swallow holes wallas dolines folgies or other erosional features of karst regions predominant in other parts of the world this this type a large depression formed here is called as wallas and this is swallow holes which is narrower than the sinkholes and this is olgi the cave insects they lose their sense of sight and develop extraordinary long antenna to compensate the loss of sight depositional landforms of underground water it is interesting to know that a variety of depositional features are formed on the floor ceiling and walls of the caves and caverns of the karst topography and already we see a saw about the stalactite stalagmite and pillar and with this the action of the limestone that is the underground water comes to an end and next we are going to see about glaciers one of the important agent of erosion what are glaciers glaciers are huge mass of moving ice and they are also called as the river of ice a glacier is a large mass of ice that moves slowly over the land from its place of accumulation the place of accumulation of this snow is called as snow field then what is snow line the height above which there is a permanent snow cover in the higher altitude or latitude is called snow line that is though the mountains the higher peaks of the mountains are covered with snow some parts are permanently covered with snow so the point from where we can see the permanent snow cover that is called as snow line so higher the latitude means whether it is in the uh, above 66 and of degree north and 66 and of degree south definitely they will be having permanent snow cover so whether the places if a place is at a higher altitude or if a place is at a higher latitude definitely it will be having a lower snow line higher the altitude lower the snow line from the sea level for example snow line of alps which is in the temperate zone is 2700 meters and the snow line of greenland which is in the arctic region is just 600 meters the gradual transformation of snow into granular ice is called fern or knee and finally it becomes solid glacial ice so initially when the snow when it starts to accumulate it looks like a fine powder and in course of time it changes into granules like sugar and salt crystals and later they all bind together and they become solid glacial ice landforms by glacial erosion the glacier erodes the steep side of the walls of the mountain and form a bowl shaped armchair like depression and this is called as circu 
and when the circuit sometimes and it gets filled with water it becomes a circuit lake which is also called as a tank so what is a circuit it is when the glacier erodes the steep side walls of the mountain and forms a bowl shaped armchair like depression it is called circuit and sometimes when two circuit walls they join together back to back the edge of these two the joining part of these two circuits they form a ridge like structure and this sharp edge which looks like a edge of a knife is called a ridge and this is the picture of matanhorn mountain okay this picture you can see very clearly it is visible the ridge is very clearly visible so this is your circuit this is a part of your circuit and the another circuit is on that side and when these two circuit structures they meet together or join together this narrow sharp ridge is formed which is called as a ridge what is pyramidal peak the pyramidal peaks are formed when three or more circuits meet together and this is the same matterhorn mountain it is the highest summit one of the highest summits in alps of europe which is found between the border of switzerland and italy and this peak is called as pyramidal peak when two or three or more circuits when they meet together this pyramidal peak is formed u shaped valley in the glacier they move when they move down along a river valley the valley further gets eroded deep and also wide to form a u shaped valley whereas and you when we studied about the erosional work of a river the rivers form the deep and also v shaped valley narrow deep v shaped valley whereas the glaciers they form u shaped wide u shaped valley so this is the result of the glacial erosion what is hanging valley these are the valleys eroded by a tributary glacier this is the main glacier and when the tributary glacier it forms a narrow valley adjacent to the main glacial valley it is called as hanging valley and what are fjords or fjords they are the glacial valleys that are partly submerged in the sea a fjord is formed when a glacier retreats after carving its typical u shaped valley and the sea fills the resulting valley floor this forms a narrow deep sided inlet sometimes deeper than 1300 meters connected to the sea the scandinavian countries like norway sweden and finland all these countries all these coastlines are made up of this fjords they were made during the when the during the end of the ice age when the glaciers started retreating these fjords were carved glacial depositional landforms after getting eroded fragments of rocks and boulders gravels dirts form glacial debris glacial debris gets deposited in the low lying areas and form depositional features like moraines drumlins eskers caves and outwash plains moraine landforms formed by the glacial deposits of valley or continental glaciers are termed as moraines so valley glaciers are founded or formed on the mountains and slopes of the mountains whereas the continental glaciers are found in the north pole and in the south pole that is in the arctic region and in the antarctic region so these moraines when they are found on both the edges they are called as lateral moraine and the moraine that is the debris brought down and deposited by the glacier in the middle is called as medial moraine and towards the end is called as terminal moraine drumlin which means basket of egg topography drumlins are deposits of glacial moraines but in a huge manner or in a massive structure it is called as drumlin they just resemble giant inverted teaspoons or half cut eggs esker long narrow ridges composed of boulders gravels and sand deposited by streams of melting water which run parallel to the glacier ice are called as eskers so 
here the glaciers were there and here when the glaciers melt the water when they flow over this place they have deposited these gravel boulders and form these edges and these edges are called as escarp outwash plain an outwash plain consists of glacial sediments deposited by the melting ice at the terminus of a glacier it appears as an extensive accumulation of sand gravel and silt and this is called as outwash plain if you feel watching this video is worth like it give your feedback in the comment section share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching